using the greeting words of peace as a slogan. The greeting assalamu alaikum is not a slogan. It is not a password. It is a prayer uttered from the lips of a person who wishes God's peace on their brother and on their sister. Not only do I wish you peace, but I wish you the best peace of all. I wish you God's peace. And then I, as your brother and sister, will do nothing to disturb your peace, either by words that come out of my mouth or actions from my hand. That's what Islam is. It is the idea of making peace. Jesus said, blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Why do you have to make peace? Because we have been taught all our lives to hate ourselves and to hate one another. And we hate each other because we're the wrong color or we got the wrong kind of hair, the wrong kind of nose, came from the wrong part of town, have the wrong kind of clothes on, the wrong kind of degree, or the lack of it. So peace has to be made. And each Muslim has to be committed to the idea of making peace between our people. Do you understand what I'm saying? Making peace sometimes means confronting that which is disturbing the peace. Not with a spirit of belligerence, but with a spirit that we have to get it right. Before the Muslims go into battle, the Quran orders us to settle our differences doesn't say that we won't have differences among ourselves but what it does say is that we have a duty to settle all differences between us how do you settle a difference you have to state to the party that is that you have aggrieved or that is aggrieved by you go to the party and state to them why you feel the way you feel then let's sit down and talk about it and hash it out till we become a family again now in settling differences are you listening yes, sir. in settling differences there has to be on the side of the person who is wrong the willingness to repent and on the side of the party that has been wronged, the willingness to forgive. When you have proud, arrogant people who don't even want to admit that they wronged their sister or wronged their brother, then you got some, well, even after you repent, they say, well, I ain't going to forgive you. Well, you got to get up out of here then. I'm throwing you out. If you can't repent of wrong and forgive one another, then you don't have no part with me. And I want no part with you. Because as a people, we will never have unity if we're going to harbor in our hearts the debris and hatred and bitterness from petty things that make us enemies of one another so if we have to go into battle I can't trust you at my back you can't trust your sister or brother because we have become each other's enemies in the Quran we are told to stand in battle like a solid wall you can't be a solid wall against the enemies of righteousness if you have become enemies of one another. Settle your differences. 
But first, there must be the willingness to acknowledge when truth is spoken that I'm wrong. Nobody wants to be wrong. Everybody want to be right. But in settling differences, you got to listen to your brother, listen to your sister, and stop a moment. Don't put up the defense. Every time somebody tells you something that you did wrong, here's what you do. You trying to position yourself so you can get in a position to throw your blow. You and them, you're not going to settle a difference that way. You know how you settle a difference? When somebody comes complaining to you of something you've said or done, stop a moment and see if you can see yourself from their perspective. Just stop a moment and say, well, let me see. I don't think I'm wrong in this matter at all. But let me see if I can see me from your perspective. Tell me what it is that I've said that offended you. And you know something? When you begin to see from each other's perspective, you say, well, yeah, from your perspective, I could have been wrong. But let me show you another perspective. Now you begin to reason with each other. And you know what? You begin to find out it was so simple. And you allowed a wall to come between you when it could have been broken down, but you kept adding bricks to the wall against your brother to justify your nasty attitude one toward the other.